Um, so right now I got a new project, um, just saved an empty scene. Um, got the main camera here. Uh, so in the GitHub repo there is a uh, C Sharp class called iCade. Uh, and we'll just need to drag that into our project. Um, now in your scene, you're going to want to create a new empty object. And we're going to name that lowercase i, capital C, iCade, capital O, object. Um, and the name is important um, because Xcode is going to call uh, that specific object by name later on. Um, but right now, uh, it doesn't matter where it's at, it's just an empty object that we're going to drag and drop our iCade script onto. Um, that's really the extent of adding it to your project. Nice. Uh, so, let's create just a little scene here um, so that I can show you how it works. Um, so I'm just going to put a floor here and let's go 20 by 20 um, and add in a light, directional light. Let's put that five up and over here is rotated little bit um, and then let's put in a capsule for our player character okay so I'm just gonna put him up in the air a little bit uh, center him at zero zero and uh, for movement of our character I like to use the character controller under component physics and yes I would like that to replace its existing physics. Um, so, next thing, let's make a little script. I like to work in C sharp, so we're going to add uh, player controller.cs and let's add it to our capsule. And then we're going to open that in mono develop start making some additions. So first thing I'm gonna need a few variables. We'll need gravity for our character. Oh, it should be of float type. And let's say 15. And speed for movement. Let's give that a seven and public float. And let's give it a jump height of 10. Um, next we're going to need uh, a vector for controlling our movement. And I'm just going to call that move and it's going to start out at zero. Uh, so in our update function, I'm going to want to make sure that our iCade uh, controller has updated. Um, and we do that by, we call iCade uh, dot instance, so it's a global. And our, we're going to call iCade, shit. <laughs> we're going to call iCade dot instance dot up. Whenever we want to call on iCade, we call iCade dot instance, so it's a singleton. Uh, and I'm going to just make sure it's updated before any of these, the rest of this function gets called. Um, now to update our movement, I'm going to need reference to the character controller. And we'll, so we'll call get components character controller. Uh, and then at the end, controller. Dot. We're going to move it by our move vector times the time change since the last frame. Uh, so right now that's not going to do anything because our move vector is at nothing. 
Uh, so let's update our move by gravity. So the y value is going to minus equal gravity times time since last update. And if I go, uh, let's build that real quick just to make sure it's working. Success. Uh, it should just fall and land on our floor. Done. So to move our character around based on our iCade controller, I'm going to use uh, some if statements here and call if iCade.instance is down. So if the button left is down, we're going to move our character uh, in the x-axis equals negative speed. So, else if is down right, move x to speed in the positive, and otherwise we're just going to make it stop. So let's go back to Unity and check that out. And I've got the controller hooked up, so you see the keyboard showing up connected. There we go. So left goes left, let go, it stops, right goes right. Perfect. So the next thing I want to add is just a little jump to it. So let's go if ik.instance.com. And this time I don't want to see if it's down, only when it's been just pressed. Um, the other option you have is to use just released. And with that one would be when you let go of the button, it's going to trigger. But for this, I want it right when you press it. So y is going to equal jump. Check that for errors. And... See how that does. There we go. When I press jump, it jumps. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to take this project into Xcode and then make the necessary changes on there so that the iCade controller works with your portable device.